Hi, Eat Tankers. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to talk about the next macronutrient today. Last week we talked about carbohydrates and carb to fiber ratio. Today let's talk about fat a little bit. There are two, two major types of fat in our diet, saturated fat and unsaturated fat. Everybody always talks about trans fat. Don't talk about it anymore. You don't have to. It's almost been outlawed. It's not in any of the foods. You look at all the labels that says trans fats zero. And if it doesn't say it, throw it away. So let's talk about the two major types of fats that are found in our foods. That is saturated and unsaturated fat. As it turns out, they both have many purposes in our bodies. But one of the purposes that saturated fat has is to carry cholesterol away from your liver and to the arteries and organs. On the other hand, one of the functions of unsaturated fat is exactly the opposite. It carries cholesterol back to the liver for reprocessing. And what's critical is the ratio of saturated and unsaturated fat in your blood doing their thing at any given time. When you eat items that are high in saturated fat, when you have a lot of saturated fat in your body, this increases the carriers of cholesterol away from the liver, which promotes cholesterol deposition into your arteries, which promotes atherosclerosis, which causes heart attacks and strokes, the number one killer of humans on earth. On the other hand, when you minimize your saturated fat intake, this increases the relative amount of unsaturated fat and improves the ratio and promotes healthy arteries and longer life. I spend my whole life opening up these blockages. It seems barbaric when we can actually prevent them from happening. And one of the major ways to prevent them is to keep your saturated and unsaturated fat ratio proper by minimizing the saturated and maximizing the unsaturated. So what does this mean functionally? It means look at your food labels or Google your food and figure out how much saturated fat is in it. For the average person, 12 to 18 grams a day on average is about how much you want. Any more than that, you start really throwing off that ratio and start really promoting atherosclerosis. So I want you to learn how much saturated fat you are taking in. Eat tankers, Google their food. Bye.